Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at significant figures. So without further ado, let's get started. So question one, what we've got here is 1,234.56 cubic centimeters. Uh, this is, uh, we want this to do two significant figures. So all that really means is we've got to look at this like this, right? We're doing this up to two significant figures. So we're really only focusing on the first two numbers. But what we also need to know is do we need to round up that number or round down that number? And so to do that, what we're going to do is look at the number straight after that two there. Now, notice how that's three. So it's actually less than five. So the answer for this question number one is going to be 1,200 uh, centimeter cubed. You got the second question, which is uh, 567.89 kilometers and we're rounding this distance to one significant figure. So because it's to one significant figure, we are only looking at the first number, which is five. And if we look at the number straight after it, that's going to be six, which means we need to round this number up to 600 kilometers. Right, so what I'll um, get you folks to do is maybe have a go with these three questions and see what you get for the answer. And then after that, we'll actually go through the answers. Okay. Hopefully you've had a chance to go through the answers. Uh, so question three, we are looking at two significant figures. So that means we're looking at that four and five and the number above, um, the number next to five is six. Now remember six is actually bigger than um, five. So we have to round this number up. And when we round this up, we're gonna get 4.600 gram. And then looking at uh, question number four, Question number four is we're running the speed up to two significant figures. So with two significant figures, we're looking at 34, sorry, three, four, and then the number straight after it, which is um, three. So that's actually less than five. So we can actually say 340 point zero zero meters per second now of course you might be sitting there thinking hang on why are we actually writing this as 340.00 shouldn't we just write this as 340 you're absolutely right and that's just me uh making a mistake at uh, this late in the night so we're going to put that as 340 meters per second and even the previous one we should just leave that as 4.6 grams Finally, looking at question number five, the area of rectangle is this square meters, and we're looking for three significant figures, which means we're looking at those three numbers. So it's gonna be seven, eight, nine, and then the number straight after that, which happens to be a one, so that's actually less than five. So we can say this answer is gonna be 7,890 square meters or meter squared. So folks, that is just a quick example on um, how to run numbers with certain uh, significant figures. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.